喺二零一七年嘅十月六号，赖哥又再次踏足港大啦、哦。今次受到 Science Society 嘅邀请，去出席佢哋 Faculty 嘅 High Table Dinner， 而我今次就系佢哋嘅主礼嘉宾。High Table Dinner 嘅中文係高桌晚宴，傳統源自於英國牛津劍橋。參與晚宴嘅本科生就係坐喺一行行直排長台之間，而傳統師長咧就會喺橫置禮堂高台上面嘅首席嘅。所謂 High Table 就係指呢一席啦。不過今次咧，我哋就安排咗喺台下前面。High Table Dinner 嘅氣氛好典雅，好莊重。見到呢種氣派，係咪覺得有啲似 Harry Potter 呢？師生都需要著上 formal dressing。仲要着上学袍添。喺港大 undergrad 就系着 green gown，bachelor 或者以上就系着 black gown。High table dinner 系会邀请特别嘉宾嘅，大家梗系唔系嚟饮啖茶食个包就走啦。饭后嘅 high table talk 先至系全晚嘅重点啊。而我就系负责今次 high table talk 嘅 guest of honor 啦。Looking at you guys just reminds me of my old days in Hong Kong. You, I own a YouTube channel called Light Up. You can simply search it on YouTube. And usually, I upload my daily live onto YouTube. Some popular videos, including pranking Hong Kong U students in registration day,、uh, some micro movies, my uni life, my dad swearing in front of camera with naked body,、uh, etc. and etc.、Uh, those are、uh, some of the more popular videos. And other videos include introducing Hong Kong in English. Playing piano, travel off, and you name it. So I started actively uploading videos since I was in year three. That was、uh, 2013. There were several reasons for this. First, I wanted to、uh, save my memories on YouTube. It would be very happy if you look back when you're old. And second, I just want to ignite others, and I want to share my joy with everyone. And the third reason is that I use it as a portfolio for casting, as I did some freelance acting jobs in the past. And fourth, I wanted to gain audience. Perhaps somebody might have already、uh, watched my YouTube videos. Thanks for searching on your phone now. I, I can see somebody is using your phone. Thanks for that. <laughs> I was graduated in Bachelor of Nursing in 2014. Since then, instead of directly entering into a hospital working full time, I got an opportunity to work in Hong Kong Television Network. In Chinese, it's Hong Kong Dinsi as an associate editor and anchor. And you know, it is very hard to get in the TV industry as a nursing major. So I just stepped into this field and tried something new. And after about one year, I quit the job. I knew. HKTV wouldn't start to produce TV programs unless they got the license. But I knew that that was not going to happen in a short period of time, and you know one ages, so I left. I wanted to be one of the actors inside, and but at the end it was just in vain, and that's destiny. And actually, in 2014, the same year that I was graduating. In April, I wrote a proposal with my friends to shoot YouTube videos for a Thailand travel agency. In return, I got the trip sponsor. I did that because I wanted to travel, but I didn't have money, so I started something different. Later on, in 2015, after I quit HKTV, I wrote a proposal with my other friends, and again, I got some sponsorships from. Others to South Korea. I did all that just because I liked traveling. You can find the Thailand videos and Korea videos on my YouTube as well. And be sure to check it out. <laughs> in the same year, in one of my freelance jobs in YouTube, I knew a friend who started working in flight again for a week. In Cantonese, it's Yao Fei La. I asked if the company needs to recruit people. Then she just said the company needed somebody to produce travel videos. She just referred me to the boss. I sent my YouTube videos as a portfolio, and then the next day the boss called me, and so I started working in Flight Again Lab. I was titled creative director. I worked in Flight Again Lab for two years. I was paid to travel 
My job was to produce and host traveling videos, so I used to travel a lot. And recently, I quit the job because I wanted to explore more on my own. It just gave me a lot of opportunities to exert my different talents. My job included traveling, planning, the itineraries and content, and thinking of ideas, dealing with clients, you name it. After all, Fly Again was a very good platform for me to perform, and I got many interview opportunities by mass media because of this position and my YouTube and my nursing background. So somebody may be curious, why did I choose HKU nursing? But why did I do something unrelated to my nursing background? At the year that I had my first attempt of the A level, I wanted to enter CUHK English, but I failed in my Chinese subject, so everything was in vain. Luckily, the next year, the second attempt was okay. But entering CUHK with second attempt of A level will have mock penalty, so I chose Hong Kong U. And I realized that there was actually a subject called speech and hearing sciences. I wanted to enter speech because I like dealing with kids, and the career prospect is guaranteed. But I knew that my school was not enough for speech, so in two years for my A1. I chose the double degree English education. Then A2 was finally nursing. I hoped that I could transfer the speech, but eventually I failed. So destiny brought me into nursing. Well, you see obstacles and and hindrances are just everywhere. You can't do whatever you want. When you hope for an apple, God may give you an orange. I'm the kind of person who don't want to be bored. I want to contribute to society. In fact, I got my nursing license once after my graduation. I had been doing part-time jobs about nursing since I was graduated. There are actually agencies who line up nurses to different hospitals, old age homes, and private homes wherever they need nurses. The job duty and salary. Are just comparable to a normal registered nurse, but just on a job basis. Being an agency nurse gives me flexibility to do other things. I don't consider it a waste when I do something different from my major. Perhaps some of you may think it's a waste. I don't think so. In fact, I do gain a lot from nursing, both psychologically and physically. People in nursing are trained to be thoughtful and tough. The way you see life and death is different. I talked with some patients, some just regretted for not exploring the world, but they were disabled. Some just wanted to have a normal dinner with the family, but they couldn't. There are a lot to explore in this colorful world, not just about places, but people. Life is but a dream, and you only live once. You live for yourself instead of the others. When you have the ability. Why don't you cherish your life more and explore more? Life is like a journey. You see, all that began with just a little thought. My YouTube was just a step stone, and when you have passion in doing something, you attract other related stuff to you, other related people, and other related opportunities. You just keep leveling up. When you talk with different people, you gain inspirations, friendships. Networks or even job opportunities. So don't hide your thoughts. You gain when you give. When your dreams come true, your dream changes too. Before uni,、uh, my dream was to get into uni. Before being a YouTuber, my dream was to be an actor. Before working in flight again, la, my dream was to travel around the world forever. Then now I want to start a business and want to do something influential. So there wasn't actually a specific dream job when I was small. You just keep looking for your next goal. Somebody like working stably, but I like stepping out of my comfort zone, taking risks, and look for challenges. Working as a freelancer now is like running your own business. You have to start so many projects from scratch, including contacting different parties. Uh, sending emails, 
going to events, socializing, presentations, marketing, you name it. I'm currently having a few projects with me. One is to collaborate with an online media to produce videos about Hong Kong in English. As you can see, Hong Kong has some chaos in recent years. I love Hong Kong, so I want to do something for the sake of Hong Kong. So I want to introduce Hong Kong to foreigners. And Hong Kong is so beautiful, no matter the places and people. It is not bad as what people think. Sometimes I collaborate with different brands to promote their products, uh, being paid to advertise. Sometimes people with a certain amount of followers are called KOL or slash, just marketing terms. But whatever people call us, I'm just doing what I really enjoy. Today's uh, theme is Iniciamos. It's about the initial thought that you begin your dream. You just insist Persevering is very important for pursuing your dream. And many students in university just keep themselves being so busy that sometimes they just get so lost in their uni life. You know, you have so many things to do in uni, right? Huh? Sometimes working, sometimes being an executive committee member, and sometimes dating, uh, working part-time, and sometimes studying, and or, or even uh, escaping from lectures. So, I know that you guys are very busy, but sometimes people are just lost in this colorful uni life. You've got too much to choose, so sometimes you just lose your focus. In this case, I suggest you to do something that you can really take away after your graduation. Whether it be your thoughts, relationships, experience, or career. Some of my friends don't have a dream yet, like flipping burgers from dawn to dusk. There's no right to wrong in life, actually. You just have to be responsible for yourself. But I believe that there must be some reasons for you to exist on Earth. Everyone must have some missions to do. If you still can't find your dream, I hope that you can find it before you graduate. And if you find it, you just aim at the bullseye and do everything to get it done. Thank you. Hey, we Mr. Light, please. You enjoy high table dinner? 大家都着得咁靓，咁你趁呢个机会影翻张靓相啦！